Who cares about a countdown timer? Who, who the frick cares about a countdown timer? I don't care about no countdown timer. I don't, I don't give a single solitary crap about that countdown timer. The only thing I care about is that I hit the start button before it hits zero, and I only do that about 10% of the time. Only, only maybe 10% of the time, perhaps. I care. Do you all care? Do you all care? Should I should I respect the countdown timer more and let it let it finish out? Am I the bad person here? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. Just making sure. I demand corn chips. I don't have corn chips today. I do have potato chips though. I saw these on sale and thought it'd be a fun little thing to do together. What this is so fun we could all eat together. How fun! Down, down, Okay. Thank you, Moki, for the D's nuts uh, joke. Appreciate that and the 20 month resub. Thank you, HUD, for the 48 month resub. Golly. That's four years! That's four years! And Country Ballmaster, thank you for the 27 month resub. Appreciate it. The, I mean, it's kind of like corn chips. Look, that's a triangle. Corn chips are in triangles, right? Why did I buy this? I'll tell you exactly why. Uh, because I tried a Cool Ranch flavored popcorn on a, a stream that none of y'all should ever watch on the Archive channel. Ever. Thank you for the 44 month resub, 8-Bit Home. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's uh, It was the Eat and Sit stream, and I was, I was, I was in a weird mood uh, that stream, so I didn't like it. I was like, Cool Ranch only belongs on corn chips. Well... The question will be settled today. I'm not as aloof or or a foofed or whatever the crap I was before, but um, I'm in a right state of mind. So I thought before we started our Metopia adventure, I thought we could see what potatoes and ranch have in common. Would you like to join me on this endeavor? I know for a fact every one of you has a bag underneath your bed. That's right, look under your bed. I hid a bag of Lay's Doritos Cool Ranch right on your bed while you were sleeping. So everyone pull that up. Oh, and listen to that sound. Listen to that sound. Took me a bit. Woo! I got my eye! Why does it smell so strong? Don't even smell like Cool Ranch. I don't, I don't even know what this smells like, but there it is. The coolest of ranch chip. It's got a little, little bit of the, the Christmas sprinkles on it. It's got a little bit of the Christmas sprinkles. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. I have one complaint, though. I have one single complaint. It has nothing to do with the flavor. Okay. One single solitary complaint. Not enough corn. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. There's something about a potato chip that I feel like if I squeezed it, it would juice would come out. And I've never been able to get over that. I've never been able to get over that. In Lay's chips, when you grab them, if you squeeze them, it would be as if like juice like started like dripping out. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? They're they're a greasy chip. When you when you grab a Dorito, there's that's not a greasy chip at all. It's like it's like honestly, I, no, I'm not gonna do that. I was I was like honestly, let me try it, and I was gonna grab an entire handful and just squeeze it and see if like I get like a drop of something, but I'm not gonna do that because then I'll have Cool Ranch hands. And you can't play Miitopia with Cool Ranch hands. I prefer kettle cooked anyway. Maybe kettle cooked, I, I don't know, like the number one ingredient in this is oil. <laughs> Sorry, number two. First is potatoes, second is oil. That is like, that is, that is half of the ingredients in here is just oil. Not saying don't taste good, but like, I could taste the oil in it that I don't get from a corn chip. I'm gonna say it right now in front of everyone, and then we're gonna start and say it right now in front of everyone. I, Andrew, from Beta64, 
prefer a corn chip over a potato chip. Now, I don't prefer a corn fry over a potato fry, but when it comes to chips, I would rather have a nice triangular corn chip that I could dip in a little salsa, maybe a little queso, maybe a little, like, do you dip this in anything ever? Like ever? I don't even I don't even think you're allowed to dip Lay's in anything. You're not even allowed to dip. I think they tried to do that. I don't know what this song is, but it sounds like a real song. You know, you know that feeling where you're like, this sounds like a real song? So I'm gonna pause it. You can lay it in the dip. Maybe French onion dip. I've never had that. What is it? What is French onion dip? I dip Doritos in queso. Yeah, you dip a corn chip in a little bit of that queso stuff. It's from Baldi's Basics. Well, let it be known, this song, this song literally sounds like something beyond the radio. This sounds like a song that would be like on the radio. You know what I mean? Like, hi, welcome to 902HS, your hometown radio. Right now, we got a great song for you today. A request by a listener tonight. Thank you very much. This is Schoolhouse Trouble, a uh, Ruler Smash by Anthony Hampton. Like, this is the part where, like, they, they transferred the, like, singing part into MIDI. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know everything I'm talking about. I'm not talking about anything weird. We're only, what, five minutes in the stream? I can't be talking about anything weird now. So, when we last let off, Dr. Kawashima was breathing down my neck, begging me to continue the journey. And I had to say no. I had to say sorry. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm done streaming for the night. And that was about a month ago. And he's been waiting here with bated breath for an entire month. B-E-T-A radio. Honestly, I wish that like, I, I, I wish that like, I don't want to call it influencer radio, but like, you know how all these YouTubers are starting like podcasts or maybe they don't anymore. Maybe that was like last year's thing. But I kind of wish that YouTubers would like start radio stations, like just internet radio stations. Like, hi, hey, welcome to B-E-T-A. Your 64 hour radio station. Isn't there like a service that does that? That's not Pandora, right? There's some other thing. There's this YouTuber I know that has a podcast known as the Beta Cast. Oh, I've never heard of that. Where, 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 where can you find the Beta Cast? Where, where, where you can find that? <gasps> oh, uh, on Patreon? Oh, okay, okay. Curious, curious. How very curious. Oh, you know, Uncle, I was gonna try to scare me. Oh, you know that's what he's gonna do. I lost 11% of my life. 11 years of my life was just taken off from that. That's a lot of hours, 64 hours a day. We're online 64 hours a day. That's that's our that's our big thing. I remember I remember for some reason there was there was this like trend of YouTubers that like to uh Hut? Oh God! Okay, don't worry. I figure out a way to fix this. I figure out a way to fix this. Just, just wait for it. Just wait for it. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about. It. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I remember what I was gonna say. So I was this trend of YouTubers that would do a uh, live stream of every single video they've ever made and make it like a 24-hour live stream. I remember that being like a thing that all these YouTubers were talking about. I remember that being like, like, oh yeah, dude, you can make money by not doing anything. That's every YouTuber's favorite thing to do. If you say those words, you can make money by doing nothing, it's salivating. They would, it's salivating all down. Like, like they'll have to change their shirt afterwards. So the thought of being able to take your backlog, just replaying it on loop for 24 hours straight and getting the ad revenue. Like so many people did that. Or am I making this up? Was this something that never happened, and I just made that up? I remember dis- 
distinctly that that was a thing that a ton of YouTubers were doing. I didn't freaking care because I don't usually care about things when it comes to YouTube. I don't usually care. It is happening and still occurring. Why don't you do it? I, I, I never particularly cared because like you could just watch it on YouTube. I, I don't I don't know. Is there like some kind of I'm gonna be honest with you One of my one of my big things my big problems in life is that I don't quite understand From the other point of view like what do you all want to see? I've gotten a lot better at it Especially after the Smash ultimate video when I had to learn very quickly what my audience wanted It wasn't like out of like I didn't want to but it was it's just it's just, it's just something that's harder for me to do so uh Anyway, do you, do that was something you guys want? I think it's because it's just randomness. Well, it wouldn't be playing on this channel. This is for only the quirky boys screaming into a microphone. That is all the content you will find here. Quirky boy. That's it. If all the episodes are streamed, it's like a giant wash party. Okay, that is pretty cool. Okay, okay. You've, 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 you've explained it to me. That is pretty cool. The idea of everyone coming together and just having the best time. Quirky boy and Ernest. No, Ernest is also a quirky boy. There's been no screaming yet. Just wait. Just wait. You just gotta wait another 15 minutes. <laughs> it's only only five more minutes till the scream. Get excited. Do a marathon of every single live stream you've ever done. Holy crap. How many hours worth of content have I made from this channel? From like streaming. Don't you dare get close to Miku Tails. Don't you dare. At least 1,000. I know that Twitch has like that achievement thing. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can pull it up. Twitch has an achievement thing that's like how many hours you've streamed, but it's not like right. It's not like like right, because they they didn't bring it out until later. Like I think three or four years into my streaming career. So according to this, I have streamed for over 2,000 hours. So, if I had to make an educated guess, it's probably around 3,000 hours, probably. If I had to make a guess. And if you divide that by 24, how many years? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, do you want me to tell you a little something? Let me tell you a little something here. I was told by a trusted representative that I've been playing the post game incorrectly. If you remember, all of my characters suck booty right now because they're very under leveled and even though they're now back to around the same level as everyone else their weapons are really really crappy and i can go ahead and buy them weapons but they're not that good guess what Now I can buy them the best weapons possible. Oh, I've never had a warrior. Never mind, I've never had a warrior. I can buy any weapon I've ever found right here. So, um, if for instance, Kevin, Mr. Raw Meathan Kevin, I can get him one of the most powerful items in the game instantly and give it right to him. I guess I can't? Kevin already has that. Oh, all right. Kronk? Kronk? Does that make him worse or better? Oh, it makes him better. Okay, okay, good, good. I didn't realize I already gave Kevin the best frying pan in the entire world. Yeah, for cooking that raw meat that he always does. For sure. Does Kevin have the most expensive... uniform? The super uniform? Do you, Kevin? Do you have the super... The problem is I can't tell until it's too late, right? I can't tell if it's until it's too late whether or not he actually has this. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if I buy this and it's a waste of money. Cause he's already had it. You can go look at him, but that means I have to go back. That means I have to go all the way back. Wait, you can? You can return the item? Those prices. You're spending heaps of money. Okay, Uncle Lau needs to be Uncle Lau needs to be fed. With some good for, with some good items. Surely I have more than this. Do I really only have like this many? Wait, wait. But he wanted something called the silver bullet. This is attack of 31. He wanted the, the silver bullet. Hold on a second, hold on a second. 
That's wait, wait, isn't this a better item? Is this a better item for less money? Isn't this a better? This has an attack of 87. The bite of 87. Is this a better item than the one that's in the catalog? It is a better item because he currently has the billiard ball. I clearly still don't know how to play this game. I clearly still am having problems, but it's okay. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, so Uncle Al has the, has the cardboard outfit, which is really bad. So I need to get him the less cardboardy one. Okay, this is the one he's got. Let's go ahead and get him the nice rusty tank. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, give that to Uncle Al. You are the only tank on your team. What color do you think, Uncle Al? Oh, he's gotta have that, like, like the Statue of Liberty. I literally thought that, like, that, that green stuff that's on it. What is that? What is that called? Corrosion? I thought that was, like, like, mold. Like a living being. I thought that was what it was. Also, I have almost doubled his, his defense now. It's, it's so... For instance, I thought that, you know, if you ate it, it would be a problem. But according to HUD, you can eat it and it's not like a big deal at all. Oh dang, I don't have any money for that now. The problem is, is I don't think I've ever had a vampire, so I have to keep doing this. Is it, is rust like bad for you? Like is rust bad for you? I'm not talking to eat it, but I mean like if I like touch rust and like put it all over my body, is that gonna like hurt me? Is that gonna like, is that going to injure me? Oh, he looks, he would look so good in that. He would look so good in that. Depends on the source of the rust. Okay. What if it's a good source of rust? <laughs> like a, like a healthy source of rust. You can get tetanitis. Oh, I don't want tetanitis. Can, can I not have that? <sighs> I need cash really bad. I've, I've been told previously that the roulette is the best way to get cash. Oh, speaking of like words that I don't have, know how to pronounce, like tetanitis. Speaking of words like that, I need help. Is it kefir or kefir? Is it kefir or kefir? Number one, kefir. Number two, kefir. First, kefir. Kefir. Okay, it's kefir. Does anyone need? No one needs this. Oh, I'm just gonna sell that. Ooh, $4,000. Let's freaking go. Yes, give me that cash money. I have a, I, I, I had some kefir today, okay? Which in case you don't know, is like fermented milk. You know, for the, for the gut health, for the, for the gut health. I'm, I'm, I'm getting older, I'm like 25 now and I'm eating Cool Ranch Lays. So anyway, let me, let me say something. Whew, that was close. That was close. It's ancient yogurt. Yep. They drained it right out of out of uh, out of Noah's Ark. They found it on the bottom level of Noah's Ark. Put a little valve on that, open it up, pour it into a gallon bottle, and bottle it up. It's ancient milk. Ancient yogurt. Anyway. Here's the problem. I bought it. Didn't hate it at all. It actually, it, 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 I felt like it was doing me more good than harm. So I, uh, I bought another one, okay? The first one that I got and the second one I've got are completely wildly different consistencies. Like, wildly different. And I'm kind of scared which one's right. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> because the first one that I got was about the consistency of like a gogurt. Like like, you know, you drink it, it's a little thick. It's a little thick, but it's it's more of a gogurty kind of thing. This one is about as thin as milk. Like just just milk. Like it's it's watery. So the consistency is normally gluish. Well, the new one's not very gluish now. <laughs> the new one is not very gluish. Did you shake it? I I did. I did. Maybe I need to shake it more. Maybe I need to shake it more. It just, it, it kind of, it scared me just a little bit because I went, I was expecting to drink Elmer's glue and I got hit with water. <laughs> do you know, do you know how frightening that was? 
How very frightening that was. The answer is very frightening. But it's fine. But 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 it but it's cool. It's fine. Okay. So I've gotten everyone spent. All the money is done. Now we can set off. Is your fridge on the fritz? No, 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 no. It's, no, it's not possible. It's fine. Now I just like bought it yesterday. I think, I think maybe I just need to shake it more. It's probably just need to shake it more. That's it. Let's just pretend that's the solution. I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about something very important to me. It's about McDonald's. I wanted to talk about something very, very important. As soon as new clothes. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what the hunter ghost sounds like. Probably sounds like this. Probably sounds kind of like that. Not really. No, that's not what he sounds like. Okay, well that's fine. Now let me tell you about McDonald's. McDonald's has done the most egregious thing that I've ever seen in the entire face of the planet. Have you or a loved one been exposed to the new McDonald's meal? The new thing. What is that called? Uh, the, the as seen on TV meal or whatever. I don't actually know what it's called. I actually don't know what it's called. It's called the as 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 made famous by meal, the the made famous by meal, where, with golly, they'll be fine. They'll be they'll be fine. They're 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 all having a good time. Did Loki beat you up? No. So here's the deal. This meal is specifically food items that were made famous by cartoons, movies, things like that. Okay. Here's what the meal is. Allow me to describe you the meal. It is a 10 piece chicken McNugget, a medium French fry, sweet and sour sauce, and a large or medium Coke. And if you're not happy with that, you can replace the 10 piece with a mix with the with the Big Mac. Why are you mad? I'll tell you why. That's literally an order you can buy regularly. And it's more expensive to buy it as the meal. You're paying more money for nothing new. That's the problem. This is the fourth time they've done this. Well this is the first time they ever had anime as like part of the thing. So they, they announced it with like the anime character who like works at McDonald's and I was like, ooh, anime meal. No, it's freaking normal. Yes, I'm annoyed because I'm a weeaboo. There you go, there, there, there you found the reason. You found the reason. Which it was the one with, it's like the devil is a part timer. I think is what it's called. I think that's what it's called. I went and saw McDonald's tweet, anime boys, and said, this is gonna be something really cool. And I'm like, what's gonna be really cool? Nothing. The only special thing they had was the, the sweet and sour sauce has a giant advertisement on it for Loki, the TV show, Loki. That's the only difference. There's a giant advertisement on it. I went to McDonald's today to eat and decided I would get the Loki branded sweet and sour sauce. They gave me regular sweet and sour sauce. I don't even like sweet and sour sauce. I don't even like it. I was going for the ad. I was going for the, the Disney ad on the little package. And I didn't even get that. I, I, didn't, I didn't even get that. I was, I was, I was hurt. Hurt. Oh, I love advertisers. Let me tell you. Speaking of which, let me play one. Mickey Mouse is mad at you. <laughs> so what? So I killed Mickey Mouse in 3D Movie Maker movies. So freaking what? It happens. You know it happens. 
I'm scared how much advertising can influence your person. No, I was already gonna go to McDonald's. I had a gift card, and I wanted McDonald's. That that, that that's the only reason there. I was not there specifically for the Loki sauce. I know I probably made it sound like that, but I swear to you, I did not go to McDonald's for the Disney Plus original series Loki branded sauce that tastes exactly the same as the normal sweet and sour sauce. I swear. I swear. <gasps> Dude, he's so cool. He stopped halfway. Man, I wish I could be as cool as Kevin from Raw Meat stopping halfway on, on big projects. Man, I wish I could be that cool. It's getting a little dark. That's what I sound like now. All we need now is a bit of banter. Um, anybody got the tea? <laughs> and then... And then... <gasps> she heard a voice. It whispered to her from the darkness. Who was it? <gasps> Hold me. The voice creaking like a coffin said, Ooga Booga. Where is my face? Nope, nope, no. Oh gosh, he's getting angry at me. Oh shoot, oh no, he's angry at me. Hope that doesn't affect our relationship. You know, I'm gunning for a, for a, for a, for a marriage at the end of this. Kevin's pissed. <laughs> that was really good. Do, 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 do. That's good. I like that. Anyway, uh, McDonald's tastes great. I don't know why some people hate McDonald's. I mean, granted, I understand why you hate McDonald's, but, uh, it tastes pretty dang good. It tastes pretty, pretty dang good. I don't get it very often, but, uh, when I get it, my, my god. Hmm. <laughs> you, you get those, you get those chicken McNuggets, okay? Put them in the air fryer till they're extra crispy. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> No, you won't hurt my man. Thanks. I learned the other day that raw meat was a, from a group project you're in and somehow makes me love it more. I was around for the 3D Movie Maker stream, but I never saw the raw meat ones. Well, I want to know y'all's opinion on the perhaps a 3D Movie Maker scene uh, thing on Friday. Stream on Friday, not scene, stream. But, I'm gonna give you options. At the end of the stream, I'm gonna give you options for which kind of stream you would prefer for Friday. He's he's feeding everyone angrily. He doesn't want to cook the meat. He doesn't want to cook the meat, but he's going to. Because he's angry. <gasps> ow, ow. Oh. 3D Bacon Movie Maker will win. Probably. Probably. I actually don't even remember what the author options were. I wrote them down somewhere, but I I do not I do not remember. I don't remember one bit. You know, these uh these torkies are really cool. They're really really, I, I I I'm not gonna tell you what I just read. Raw meat with actual actors. That's gonna be that's gonna be the next humongo sub bowl. Fifteen thousand subs. We're going to do. We're gonna do the unthinkable. We're gonna rent out an entire children's theater, okay? Not not like a big theater, because you know, those are those are really hard, but I can like rent out an entire like children's theater. 18 plus only, okay? We're gonna rent out the entire theater. 18 plus only, you have to show your ID at the door. No alcohol or anything. It, it's, I, I actually don't know why, but you know what, screw it. We'll have, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have some Mike's Hard Lemonades, okay? Mike's Hard Lemonades at the door. Walk in, you grab a seat. Raw meat, the musical, the real musical. Okay, I need to like help them. I think I think I might need to help them. No, it's not an adult movie. It's a movie only adults can see, or I guess a show that only adults can see. No, you know what? I'll live stream it. I'll live stream it. Sure, why not? Raw meat. Yeah, we don't want we don't want kids eating raw meat. You know what I mean? We don't we don't want kids eating raw meat. So, so you know, you gotta be you gotta be careful. 18 plus at the door. It doesn't sound very healthy. Well, it's not.
His eyes turn red? Dude, that's so sick. Like, why does I? Oh, wait, it's always red. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's so cool. How did they get the eyes to do that? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I had my McDonald's today. I'm feeling good. My, my tummy is all full. Very delicious. You know what I like to do? Let me tell you a little secret. Let me, let me tell you a little secret, okay? Do you want to make sure that your McDonald's experience is the best? I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. You get Chick-fil-A sauce. Maybe that little bit of that spicy sriracha sauce. <laughs> get a little bit of that, uh... A little bit of that air fryer action. Get them nice and crispy. Because sometimes they won't make them crispy. Sometimes they'll make it a little bit... I, I, don't, I don't know the best way to put it. I don't want to say mushy. Chick-fil-A nuggets are better. Well, the thing about that is... Uh, McDonald's nuggets, I don't classify them as chicken. <laughs> I classify them as McNuggets. Do you know what I mean? Like, when I... Like, Chick-fil-A chicken is chicken. Kane's chicken is chicken. I will not go to Chick-fil-A just for the sauces. Well, I'll tell you a good news for you. You can actually get their sauces just at, like, Walmart. You just get it at Walmart. That's what I do. I'm not going into a store. <laughs> you think, you think, you think I, I don't even go to Walmart. I'm just getting it from Kroger. I'm just getting it delivered from Kroger. That's what I'm doing. Artificial meat product. Mm, 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 yummy, yummy. This Mick man is on a Mick diet, working on a Mick budget. Nothing tastes better than free McDonald's. I remember when I was a kid, I went through like a McDonald's, like I liked it, then I hated it, then I liked it, then I hated it kind of thing. Wow, that took him like like a month to get better. <laughs> that took him like a month to get over his sickness. Hey guys, what's going on? When I was 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 during my phase of not liking McDonald's, I remember there was like a contest where you could win a uh, McDonald's gift card. And I specifically said it was dumb. <laughs> I was like, who wants a McDonald's gift card? Ew, gross. Who wants to eat McDonald's? I would do that because I'm such a little nerd. <laughs> I'm such a little nerd. Man, I I just... <laughs> McDonald's CEO is in shambles. I just went through this whole phase of like, I'm gonna be a contrarian. I'm just gonna be like, Phineas and Ferb sucks, and McDonald's is, uh, I don't like food. <laughs> I went through a phase where I was like, I don't even, I don't like food anymore. I don't like food. McDonald's is now going into bankruptcy. They will never be able to financially recover what I did when I was like 10. Dang, they're already level 26? That's very you. That's very, I, I'm not as much of a contrarian these days. I went I went through my phase early on before I had any internet accounts. So all of my contrarian annoyances were, uh, were specifically, you know, analog. I t that's what I call talking to human beings in real life. I call that analog speech. I was analoging all over. Ooh, you know who needs something? Freaking you. You just have nothing, dude. Oh, that's awesome. That's sick, actually. I'm gonna keep Uncle Al getting up there. I'm gonna keep him up there. And it, I want him to be one of my top fighters. One of my top fighters. I I mean, I've already told you the story about how I, uh, some, some, like, adult was trying to, like, relate to me. Like, I was with my dad, and, like, one of my dad's, like, work friends came up to me and was like, Hey, uh... I love Phineas and Ferb, don't you? Like, ah, oh, I love Phineas and Ferb. Do you watch Phineas and Ferb? And I went, no, it's stupid. I hate Phineas and Ferb. I'd never once seen Phineas and Ferb. Not once. Not one time. It's who I am. It's who I am. Now, I was not a contrarian. I will tell you, I was not a contrarian when I said that... 1-2-Switch, I had a great time with 1-2-Switch back in the day. 
Oh shoot, we gotta find the thing that goes in the hole. That was, that was real emotion. That was real emotion, Christmas emotion. By the way, I got, uh, I got insider news. They're gonna announce the Switch uh, 2 next month. They announce it next month. Did you hate video games during your contrarian era? No, I didn't hate watching them, but I didn't play them. Well, I'm not stubborn. I'm not stubborn. LA. I'm gonna make soft meat sad. No, no, I'm gonna think about hogging and hogging. When are they announcing the NX? It's happening next month. It's happening next month, I guarantee it. Uncle Al and Kevin are not getting along. You can see him prancing and, and dancing around while Uncle Al is trying to get a little nappy. All right, just kiss. The NX is real now. Are we, we know, we know that it's going to be like the Switch 2, right? Like we know it's going to be the Switch 2. The thing was in the developer portal at, at Nintendo developer, developer not Nintendo.com. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that it showed it as the NX2. Either that or I'm a liar. I might, maybe I'm a liar. Switch to next month, no way. Yes way, I guarantee it. I promise you, you can clip this. You can, you can post it all over social media. You can write at uh, beta64 official and you can send people a link to my Twitch account. And you can also um, uh, um, let people know on all other forms of, and TikTok. And you can also call it the hashtag basic for challenge and get your friends to follow me on Twitch. And, um, um, and subscribe to um, Patreon. Um, uh, what if it's wrong? I will not be wrong. I guarantee you that the Switch 2 will be announced next month. It won't be coming out next month. It's not coming out next month, but I promise you it will be announced next month. Thank you for the follow to Hedgehog. Boy, welcome to the stream. And same to you, Figgy. I grew up with Phineas and Ferb in Daxter's laboratory. Andrew grew up with Jimmy Neutron. I, if I, when I was a kid, I watched Jimmy Neutron. I watched uh, Chowder. I watched Flapjack. I watched SpongeBob. I watched Viva Pinata. I'm trying to think if I watched any. I watched Word Girl. I watched Word Girl. And uh, Sonic X. That's so Raven. Hannah Montana. <gasps> He accepted the first stubborn quirk. He wouldn't eat Kevin's cooking. SpongeBob sucks. Oh my, oh my, oh my God. I don't, I think my brain's melting because I just watched an episode of SpongeBob three days ago. I got a, uh, I got given for free a uh, Google TV. And on it, it does these, like, f show recommendations, which I kind of hate. I'm trying to make it where, like, it, like, actually tells you, like, recommendations that are actually good for me. But because I, like, just got it, it's like, mm, you'll probably like, um, you'll probably like, uh, uh, Kate, Kate and Tate plus eight. I, I, don't, I don't actually don't know what that show is called. But it will do that. It's like, oh, you must, you would love The Bachelorette. It's like, no, I don't, I don't think I'd love The Bachelor. I don't think I'd love The Bachelorette. Well, anyway, it's finally started to recommend me things like uh, Spongebob. So I watched Grandma's Kisses. I watched a little bit of that Grandma's Kisses three days ago. It was lovely. I laughed. I laughed and laughed and laughed. I don't know why, but that episode like scared me as a kid, though. I'm not exactly sure why. There's something on me? Uh, yeah. Let me just grab that real quick. It was a threat on your shoulder. Just one tiny little threat. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, the episode is is where uh, where, where SpongeBob's grandma kisses him, and he goes, mm, "Grandma, I'm now an adult. No more kisses for me." And she's like, "Okay." And then he gets jealous because Patrick gets all the kisses. Absolutely, very sad. Very, very sad episode. Nice. Well, anyway, enough about SpongeBob. Let me tell you about uh, another show that was recommended to me that I decided to watch for absolutely no reason. I watched it for about 15 minutes. 
you will never be able to guess what show that I watched. So I'm not even going to have you try. I'm not even going to have you try. <laughs> it wasn't Yu-Gi-Oh. It, was it was not the Bachelorette. Boy, that would be really funny if I'm talking about, Man, you kept bringing me the Bachelorette? I didn't, I'm stupid. I would never watch that. Anyway, I binge watched the entire, an entire season of the Bachelorette. It was so cool. No. AFE, America's Funniest Home Video. I watched uh, the oldest episode they had available, which was 2009. It was their 20 year anniversary, 2009, with Tom Bergeron going out and, and talking about talking about all that cool stuff he always does. This has been, thank you for the 41 Among months. Us, sassy backer. I am unbelievably <laughs> tired. How are you, Andrew? And Among Jeff? us, sassy backer. <laughs> I am so tired I could pass out right now. How are you? I'm doing great. Disman, how are you doing? <gasps> Room rules. Oh, yes. I really, really enjoyed AFV back in the day. Those, like, episodes were, like, from back when YouTube wasn't, like, a huge thing. If I remember correctly. At least it wasn't a huge thing in my, uh, household. Did he just say, never open your eyes again? Is that what he just said? I watched AFV five days ago. Did you watch the new stuff? How's the new stuff with those TikTok dances? How's the, how's the TikTok dance ones? No, the old host. Let me tell you, there's something about watching that show with all the, like, crusty videos, all the, like, crispy pixels and, and, and scan lines and stuff like that. Time for a nice brushing. You got a lot of tension, my friend. Oh, all right, that, that was it. That was it. The new FAV isn't as good. Well, it's because if I want to watch like funny people getting hit in the balls, like like uh like AFE classic, I'm just gonna watch like a meme compilation or or, or scroll on some like web page that has that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna be like going over to AFV. You know what I mean? Hit in the balls. I can. I am living in the future where I can Google getting hit in the balls compilation. Oh, that looks great. That looks fantastic on him. Look how cool he looks. I'm telling you, that's where the coolness lies. That's where life truly sets forth in a good direction. When we now have the power to watch as many hitting people in the balls compilations. Don't Google that. I, 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 you can YouTube search it, right? That's safe, right? Or is that, is that not safe? Is that not, stop, stop doing the carrots. Stop doing the carrots. I know, don't, okay, don't Google getting hit in the balls. What's so cool about getting hit in the balls? Well, let me tell you. It's not. The thing that, the thing about it is not the act. It's the memories of Tom Bergeron going, Hey, let me tell you. Have you ever thought about, or no, no, how, how, how did Tom Bergeron do it? How did Tom Bergeron do it? He, he was, he did it like a very specific way. Very specific way. He was like, uh, Like, like, okay, let's imagine a cat jumps off a bunch of boxes and hits someone in the balls, okay? He would go, well, the cat's out of the bag now. And he looks like he's hitting another one. No, no it's not good. I don't know, I don't know. I, I only watched like 15 minutes. I only watched like 15 minutes. I only watched like 15 minutes. I don't quite remember. I can't be Tom Bergeron, you're right. That's the problem. Tom Bergeron is a special person who you cannot emulate. He would like sometimes he would like put his face on things like they like like capture his face and like put it on different guys getting hit in the balls and that was like that was the humor of 2009. I'm telling you that was that was the 2009 best funniest thing in the world. Nowadays, you know, most of the time we don't we don't we don't you know watch that kind of stuff that kind of crash humor. Instead, you know what I'll be watching? I'll be watching people, like, I mean, they'll fall. Usually they'll just fall. Like, that's like, that's the new one. 2009 humor is old. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> that's fine. The conversation is off the rails because I don't know how to describe AFV. 
Like those of you who watched AFE know I'm not talking about anything weird. HUD, you watched AFE. I'm not talking about anything weird, right? That's just that's that's just how it is. That's just that's how that's that that is the show. They would they would show three things. People being hit in the balls, pranks, and cute animals. And babies. They would be babies. They'd always show babies. I remember I remember, I remember when I was a kid. I would, whenever like a baby video would come up, I'd look away because I thought they were gross. <laughs> like they, like, like, they, like they'd be like, "Oh, look, the baby's throwing up," like that kind of thing. And I would like look away because I was like, "Ew, gross, <laughs> babies." I never, I, the baby ones, they like scared me. I didn't like it at all. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. Thank you, Steam did. Okay, so many people did that. I'm not weird. Heck yeah. Heck yeah! No, that was definitely the gist of it. People would submit humorous videos, and the host would riff on top of them as it went on. Not all of them fit the entire bit, but videos of people trying and failing to get a baby laugh has never gotten old. It's not the puke, it's the baby that's the problem. I'm just telling you, I, I just, I, when I go on A and B, I want to see a guy try to jump over a ramp with, with, with the skateboard, and it hits him in the balls! <laughs> I'll tell you what, everyone be all over. <laughs> it's saying, guys be hitting them in the balls. I wanna see those stupid babies. Really, what? Oh wait, that's Bob. Sorry, that's Bob. I thought that was, I thought that was Uncle Al. I thought that was Uncle Al. I thought that was Uncle Al. <laughs> I don't even. That <laughs> probably made absolutely no sense, and it, it it probably didn't. Yeah, you probably didn't even understand a word I just said. That's fine. <laughs> Uncle Bob. Oopsie. The bu oh, that's the wrong button. Is this Uncle Al? <laughs> Nothing got through. So all you hear her was little <laughs> baby. <laughs> I can't turn off Bob. I can't turn off Bob. I don't know how to turn off Bob. Bob is now taken over. It's taken over completely. Oh well, it's fine. Anyway, AFE was a classic back in the day. I don't particularly watch anymore. And the re only reason I enjoyed watching it like, like two days ago when I watched it was just because that feeling, you know what I mean? Of like the, the VHS tapes. Cause they'd be like, send your tapes to 403 Negra Aurora Lane. You know what I mean? So these were like actual VHS tapes that they just like stuck in and then just and got it for the for the show. It's called nostalgia. Exactly right. I guarantee you the show probably hasn't changed much, but um it's just it's just the blinding nostalgia that just shines in my eyes. It's just, it, it, it was beautiful. It was, it was beautiful. Actually, I watched that episode from 2009 and it kind of blew my mind because Tom Vergeron or whoever the announcer guy was, it wasn't Tom Vergeron, it was the other guy. He said like, upload your videos to AFV. And then he didn't give like any URL or anything, but it said upload your videos to AFV. Back in 2009, it's kind of crazy. They were forward thinking over there at the AFV land. Ooh, rare dragon fruit. It's changed a bit. It's less vulgar ridiculousness now. Yeah. So they don't do hit in the ball compilations anymore? They don't do that anymore? 2009 is not as long ago as you think. My pocket feels heavy. An HP banana. <gasps> and a letter! <gasps> what do you write, Miku? Dear Kevin. Dear Kevin, I hope you're eating enough fruits and veggies, honey. Make sure you have a balanced diet. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't get any fruits and veggies. Thanks, Miku. It was 14 years ago. That, that's right. Yep. It's, that was, it was 14 years ago. That was 2009. Kevin's a carnivore. He don't need fruits and vegetables. He doesn't need them. All he needs is meat. <gasps> <clears throat> Tag 
tablets, smartphones, the world at your fingertips. How convenient. Eureka, I found it. But it was just some papers. I have no need for them, so I'm giving them to you. That's what Dr. Kawashima sounds like in my mind. I still haven't finished that, uh, that Brain Age Does It Work video, but I swear all the footage has been, uh, recorded. I've just been working on other things, so I haven't, uh, haven't stuffed it all together. I want to give just a humongo shout out to the mod team and Krusty Towers. Twitch moved to like the featured clips. I want to be friends with Kevin again. Twitch moved to featured clips. And as I said before, the mods have been in work, uh, getting all of like the best beta 64 clips featured on the channel. So you can like look at them like the best clips from every single year. There's over 7,000 clips. And the mods and I have been working on that. And we've gotten to, I think almost 2,000, right? We're about a third of the way there. We're about a third of the way there. And Krusty Towers is working on featuring clips from now on at the end of every stream. Maybe not exactly at the end, but you know what I mean. We've been working on this for, uh, for a while now, it feels like at least. So, uh... Is Krusty Tower's job description officially is uh, Twitch Clip Manager. <laughs> it's the official name that I came up with. Twitch Clip Manager. Because they also run the uh, the Clips channel on YouTube, which you should subscribe to. There's the link right there. So anyway, I just want to say thank you. Because uh, Lord knows me by myself going through 7,300 clips would uh, take a very, very long time. <gasps> oh, wait, Kevin! I'm sorry for being so mean. I want to be friends again. I want to cuddle and hug like we used to. <gasps> Me too. Uncle Al. There, there, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Al is forgiven. I'm sorry for shoving you in a cannon and shooting you across the room, breaking your multiple nose bones. I can't. Oh, Kevin, what will we- Oh! Oh! oh. You're gonna look great. You're gonna, you're gonna look absolutely fantastic, Uncle Al. I still have sour cream in my ear. I mean, my eye. Sour cream, like, what is that? It's ranch? It's called ranch. I'm gonna go for... Flesh. I'm going for Uncle Al flesh color. It's close enough. Oh, you know I'm gonna go to the wooden kitty cat look. Oh, you know I'm getting that wooden kitty cat look. Noses don't have bones. Yeah, they do. They got that cartilage thing, right? They got that, that cartilage. That is just hideous. Oh, that's kind of cute. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think, personally, I look great. Cartilage isn't bones. Is it really not? Is it really, is it not bones? I thought for sure it was like bones or something. Oh, I need to get Uncle Al something other than like the polka dot shirt. Hold on, let me, let me, let me check my, my catalog here. Let me check my, my catalog here. Cause they got the, the polka dot version. There we go, we can get you, you can get you way more than that. Just not enough for the super uniform. All right, we'll save up. We'll save up and get that super uniform. Can I get money from outings? You know what? I'm gonna let you guys go on a seaside date now that you've made up. There's a lot of people talking about bones all of a sudden. Golly. Well, here's the thing. The only reason I thought it was bones is because there was a, a point, freshman year of college, the blood moon. The blood moon was rising and my, uh, there was like, there's like a freshman orientation thing and there was like a, uh, a group of people everyone got and my group wanted to go see the blood moon together. Warm up complete. Oh, oh. That looks very scary looking. <laughs> yeah, the blood moon. So uh, we went to the blood moon <clears throat> and for some reason, the guys, not me, but the, all the guys there decided it would be cool, and I don't know why, to do a spinning kick. 
like a like a like a really big spinning kick like and do like a spin every guy did one and uh they did it and a guy got hit directly in the nose and went into the hospital they were fine but they were like oh, i probably should go to the hospital just in case and uh they yeah their nose broke they, it was fine it turned out it turned out okay but um it was just kind of that's why I thought there were bones. It was not neat. It was very, it was, I mean, put it this way. I wasn't paying much attention. I was like really far away sitting by myself doing nothing, but looking at my phone. Um, so there wasn't really much to it. All I know is I just saw them kicking and then I looked back and then they're just walking away. I'm like, oh, where are they going? They're like, oh, they're going to the hospital. Yeah, they're, ju they're just going, they're just going to the hospital. Don't worry about it. I was like, oh, oh okay. Guess I won't worry about it. One of the one of the people that was there, she was uh, uh, going to be a registered nurse. The ancient tablet. So she was like, "Okay, this is what happened. We're gonna go to the hospital. They're gonna get this done. We're gonna get it all sorted out." It's very nice. I broke so many bones as a kid. I broke my my leg, my arm. Did I break my leg? It was just my arm and my toe. I already told you how I broke my toe, and it freaking sucked. <laughs> I, I literally only broke my toe. Because, uh, I, I tripped over that, that big, like, that big of a difference between, like, hardwood and, like, the next piece of hardwood. It was, like, that, that different. And I hit it, and I broke my toe. I was weak. I was weak! I feel like Hunter Ghost needs to hang out more with, uh, let's hang out with Kevin. Why don't you, why don't you both hang out for a little bit? I broke a fake bone. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. I'm scared of like children, like like really young children, cause uh, my uh, my I guess my sister, her baby, firstborn, kept breaking their bones. It's like it felt felt like every couple months. And, I, and 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 she would like show me. It's like oh look, this is the part where he broke his arm. Oh here we go, he broke. The kid went down a slide and just broke his leg. He didn't even like do anything. He just went down a slide and broke his leg. And I'm just like, <laughs> that's so small. I'm like, okay. Apparently that's really normal. According to the doctors, that's really normal. When you're a young lad, you just, you just, you just break bones. You just break bones. But I'm just like, oh. Yeah, he, he needed to drink more kefir. Need to drink a little bit of that milk, that ancient milk, that Stone Age milk. I've never broken a bone before. It's not, it's not, it's not the most fun. I remember having a cast and and uh, and uh, people signing it. I think it was the last year I was ever in school. I think I broke my arm in like first grade. They signed it, and then I was homeschooled forever after that. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I know it's important to the lore. I know that for a fact. I drank a ton of milk growing up. Well, so did I, and it clearly didn't help. Oh, this looks really cool. I like I like the look of this. Clearly it does not work. <gasps> Would you like to dig up a nice pile? A nice pile? Oh, I was meaning to tell you. Speaking of those those clips things that uh, that the mods are working on, like featuring um so there's a little unfortunate thing the twitch's tool <clears throat> uh it lists every single clip and you just keep scrolling down you can't like it's not like pages you just keep infinitely scrolling going through around 3000 clips now in order to view clips from that like time frame uh i think the most ram it's used is 6 i think it was 6 gigs of ram on that one web page, I think was the thing. And it takes like a good 10 minutes to scroll down. It takes about 10 minutes to scroll down. Nah, yeah. I wish there was pages. I really wish there was pages. That would be kind of cool, but what are you gonna do? Eventually it's gonna get to the point where we flip it from oldest to newest and then we work that way back around. That's, uh, that's definitely gonna be the best option after that, but Chip tour is 32 gigs of RAM, so 
I also, I think, have 32 gigs of RAM. I think I also have 32 gigs of RAM. So it's gonna, it'll work out. <laughs> it'll, it'll work out. It'll be, it'll be fine. Can you do a control F? Well, the thing is we're doing it by like date and I don't think it, sh it loads like 10 at a time. So you have to scroll the bottom 10, scroll the bottom 10, more, 10, more, 10, more, 10, more, kind of a thing. Half the work of checking the clips is literally just scrolling. I was playing Bravely Second this weekend, and I got a job called the Catmancer, and I thought of me. <laughs> you thought of me? Aww. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Thank you. I believe we found out that there are 7,500 clips in total. I believe that is that is the total amount of clips that we have from the entirety of my streaming career. Entirety of my streaming career. Are you featuring the best clips or just ones that are somewhat interesting? We're doing just ones that are like, oh, this is interesting and funny. That's that's the ones we're doing. So it's not, and ones that aren't duplicates. That too. That is that is the criteria we're working on right now. It'll be 8,000 clips by the end of the year. Man, I'm so glad. Past Andrew would literally just want to do everything himself. That's like, that's past Andrew's biggest fault. I'm just like, well, it's easier if I just do it. It's just easier if I do it. There's no way I could have done this. Like, I needed help, so thank you. Andrew would totally be a cat mancer. Oh, dude, I am such a big kitty cat. Sorry, no, I need to pretend I'm a little, just little. I'm a little kitty cat. I'm a, I'm a little tiny kitty cat. That's just who I am. It's who I am. I'm excited to play more Shadow the Hedgehog, but I have to wait. I said once a month. I'm not gonna break that rule. I'm not gonna break that rule once a month. I wanted to lick Hunter Ghost, but I can't do that. Snatch food away, playful antics. Mm, let's do this. We haven't done this before. Dang, they are so powerful. They're so powerful. Are you gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna host my own AFV show. That's right. That's right. Send me your funny clips over to, uh, over to uh, uh, Beta Man, at Beta Man on YouTube. That'll be my, my fifth channel, my fifth YouTube channel. The Beta Man. Honestly, that's a really good channel. Hold on, is that, st is that taken? The Beta Man? The Beta Man. Beta Man. I don't think so. I think I, it's it's for me. But then they think I'm like trying to say I'm like a like I'm beta. But I, it's the beta man, and it's just a comedy YouTube series. The more you say it, the less I like it. Okay, well never mind then. Well never mind then. I don't think most people want to be called the beta man. Just do fur man. I did. I was gonna be fur man. That's right. I I forgot about. It. I was gonna be fur man. He keeps feeding us spicy food. Are we gonna like hate him after this? Yeah, I'm getting angry. I'm getting a little peeved. I'm getting a little peeved off. I need to make a channel called The Fur Man and do absolutely no furry things, ever. Like zero furry things. And you're just like, why, why, why is he called The Fur Man? That just, that doesn't make any sense. He's just, he's just reviewing memes. He's just reviewing memes. I don't, I don't get it. I think that'd be hilarious. These guys are way too powerful. It also doesn't help that uh, the Hunter Ghost isn't uh, very powerful right now. That doesn't. That just certainly doesn't help any. Just make a channel and post a random video every month or so. Well, lucky for you, that's called Andrew64. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Maybe it's not every month, but it is random. I'll tell you that much. I'm really sad I can't get at Andrew64 for my, uh, for my YouTube handle because it's taken by someone who's who's never posted a YouTube video in their entire life. And uh, their channel has been active inactive for several years. And it just like auto gave it to them. And I'm like, dang it, dang it. I don't even get the top search result anymore because someone's channel is called Andrew Jr. And they're like a Fortnite Twitch stream or something like that. So their, their channel shows up first. I'm gonna sue them both for stealing my name for stealing my name, I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna sue them. I'm at least glad I got to keep Beta 64. That was that was nice of them. 
thank you. What about real Andrew64? Well, I picked Andrew64 channel because back in the day, back in the day, uh, that was my YouTube channel, was Beta64 channel was the name. It wasn't until I could change the name later that I changed it to just Beta64. But it was, so that is kind of like a reference to that. It's kind of a reference to that. Oh my gosh, the Andrew64 banner? Yeah, I changed it. You like, you like that? Don't they delete inactive accounts? Well, that's the thing. Google will be deleting inactive accounts unless you have a YouTube channel, so it won't work. So, that is, uh, that is, that is, an um, uh, maybe it's not unfortunate, so you don't have to worry about all your favorite YouTubers who never, like, post anymore. Like, their channels aren't gonna, like, just disappear forever. Can I report them? Why well, don't they haven't done anything wrong yet? Imagine this poor kid named Andrew who, who, who really likes Nintendo 64 games. This poor kid. Their channel that they've been saving for years. They're like, I'm gonna finally post a video. And they get banned because of me. My water's tasting weird. Do you like drink water and you taste it like on like the sides of your tongue? Do you ever like do that? Do you ever get that like taste like only like the sides of the tongue? Well, it is river water, but like it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. When's the last time you cleaned the bottle? Uh, actually, good point. It had been like about a month, but I did clean the bottle like three days ago. I did. I gotta clean it again. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's the soap taste. Maybe that's what it is. You get used to the algae eventually. <laughs> All right, you just keep drinking it. You'll be fine. You'll, you'll learn. You'll learn from it. You'll be fine. Maybe you have really sensitive taste buds on the sides of your tongue. Is that a thing that can happen? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I will say, uh, we did get a new, like, water filter that goes, like, under the sink. So we use just regular sink water that goes through the water filter. Maybe it's just, like, working through that filter. Like, it has, like, fully, like, run through it. It's still got, like, a weird taste to it. That, that might be the reason. Or I'm a very sensitive taster. I'm just a, I'm just a sensitive taster boy. Maybe that's it. You never, you never quite know. You never quite know. Okay. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. I had a situation happen. Not a very situation. How bad is Oklahoma water? It's pretty bad. It's, uh, we got a lot of dirt and grime in it. We've got a lot of, uh... Oh, I love the blush. That's so cute. We've got a lot of, like, orange dirt in water. I did, we have flushed through the filter. I mean, we've had it for like three weeks now, but you know, it might take time. Well, anyway, uh, something happened that I couldn't, I didn't quite understand. I didn't quite understand it. One day, I hear a noise of just like a, like a truck. Like just, just, just a truck coming by. Just to say like, hi, okay? And I decided to look out the window. It's nighttime, you know, it's dark outside. And, uh, oh, thank goodness, full reheal, let's go. Uh, outside is a full giant fire truck. Like a giganto fire truck. And I'm like, what in the world is a fire truck doing here? So I decide to watch. I'm like, well, maybe they don't have their, like, sirens on or anything. Maybe it's just like they're, 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 they're trying, they're gonna go help someone or something like that. No, out of the fire truck comes two guys. One is fully suited, like with the hat on, with the whole like fireproof suit on, completely ready to go, with like a hose connector. Like like he's walking fully ready to go to put out a fire or something. And um, next to him is someone who is completely dressed like casual, like casual, but he like, he came out of the fire truck too. Like he's just, he just seemed like, like he had like a nice button up or something like that. And I'm like, what in the world? So I'm watching. They get out of the fire truck. They walk over to the side of a building. They go around the back. 
Then about 10 seconds later, they walk back, get into the fire truck, and leave. They were there for approximately one minute. And I don't know what in the world was going on. I don't I don't know what I don't know what happened. I, I, so I wanted to know what you thought. <laughs> what you thought could have happened. Because if they thought there was a fire, then like, they would have like rushed over there, right? With sirens blazing. There's a freaking fire or something, right? I don't know. I'm not a firefighter. <laughs> firefighter. Well, maybe, well, maybe you should consider being a firefighter. You ever think about that? It was a cover up for murder. That makes sense. That, that makes sense. It was an investigation rather than an emergency. Maybe they were picking up a Dalmatian. We have had a problem in the past of arsons, but it hasn't really been a problem for a while now since they started installing cameras. Is there a fire hydrant near the location they walked to? Ah, oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they were checking on a fire hydrant at 9 p.m. at night. Fully suited up. Maybe they were testing fire alarms. Maybe. You caught them out of character. You caught, they were just having fun. They were just having a good time. They were just, they were just chilling. And I caught them. That's what it was. I broke the simulate. I got to see right outside the simulation. You know what I mean? I got caught right outside the simulation. Maybe the one suited up lost the bet. That's right, the matrix. I got to see outside of the matrix. It makes sense for one to be in a suit, one depressurizing a fire hydrant. You're so, you're so dang smart. When you get so dang smart. You know what, uh... Okay, yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just freaking go for it. It's time. It's time to get this done. This is the longest battle that's ever happened. I'm a little confused on why this is taking so long, just because... I don't feel like this is a boss battle. I don't think this- I don't think this is a boss battle. Yeah, give him that chomp. Give him that little bit of that chomp. I appreciate that, Pizza Tower Boy. Ooh, bite! He's gonna bite someone! Holy crap! One whole damage! <laughs> wow! That was- That'll be a great one once he gets his healing up. Or his, his health points and attack up. It's gonna be great. That's gonna be great. He gulped him. Maybe it's just post-game nonsense. I have a feeling this is just like a regular enemy battle. I don't think this is a boss battle. I think. Maybe I should have kept the speed up going this whole time. It is. Oh, it is a boss battle. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Let's uh, let's get those get those those sprinkles back to going. Let's get those sprinkles going again. This is not a boss battle. No, I mean it is just a regular enemy. Why are they so powerful? Why are they so powerful? Why? Oh, this is one of the most powerful enemies in the entire game? Did I just get unlucky? Did I get unlucky getting the most powerful enemy in the entire game? In this, in this run? Yes, there we go. How about that? How about that, sugar? <clears throat> Sorry. That sure was tough. Okay, but you get a lot of XP, though. You get a lot of XP. So that's good. That's good. 10,000! Okay, it was worth it. Is it worth, like... He's so weak. He's so weak. I want to make you so not weak, man. I want to make you so not weak. How long is it going to take? How long to like get the hunter ghost I've always dreamed of? Well, I've lost all of my sprinkles, so hopefully this is not an enemy. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, come on! Bro, should I just die? Should I just freaking die? Like, what's happening here? Like, I don't have sprinkles! I don't have sprinkles, man! I can't do this forever! It's okay to run away. <gasps> That's right! I've never done that! I've never done that before. 
I've never run away before. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, wait, but that just makes you have to leave. But I want to finish the mission. But I want to finish the mission. Do you not understand that? I, I got to finish the mission. Oh. A gift of divine power, you say? Now, hold on a second. Are you telling me my HP sprinkles got a little bit of that upgrade? Be like Shinji and just run away. That's just bad luck. You're f <laughs> so it'll be better the next time. It'll be better the next time. Okay, good. <gasps> I'm a beacon of hope to all Metopians. Yay. Now, granted, I did get a lot of XP out of that first battle, so that worked out. That worked out wonderfully. I guess I need to focus on the Hunter Ghost if I want him to be like the most powerful. I because he has the ability to like bite and suck, like the the life force away from the uh, from the other enemies. That's what I'm hoping, like, will become very useful, where he's like a, it's like a machine that auto, that, like, auto gets health back. And he doesn't have to worry about someone. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. Now, hold on. Let's get to the catalog now. What if you wanted to finish the mission, but God said, mm -mm. God said UFO boys. Okay, we're gonna order this. All of my money is gone. Enjoy it, Kevin. Enjoy it, Kevin. Kevin's a purple. <sighs> what do you think? You, you think Kevin's a purple? What, what color do you think is a good Kevin color? Oh yeah, I need to do more outings. I definitely need to do more outings. You're right. Let's let, let, let's let them out go on a few dates. Let's let them go on a few dates. I think I have 63. So, uh, Hunter Ghost and Kevin, you, you can you can hang out a little bit. Purple Pikmin Kevin. I heard people say that purple Pikmin and white Pikmin are in love, and I don't know how to feel about that. I don't, I don't know exactly how to feel about that. I said they're a couple. <gasps> is that? Who is that? Oh, it's Max. I mean, Sam. What you drinking? A bit of... Goblin soup. You drink soup of the goblin? Oh, only every chance I get, that's all. Want a sipski, hunter ghost? No, but yes. Oh. Maybe I should sound like an old person. Oh, that is hearty. I think I like it. That's just cronkian. That's just cronkian. That's just cronkian. Oh, I need to tell you. I went by the Apple Store like a couple weeks ago, something like that, and I saw the cutest thing in the entire world. The absolute cutest thing in the entire world. There was a pair, or there was, there was a, there was a class going on, which I did not know that they did. But there was a class, and I, I see this giant, like, screen, this guy going, all right, and this is called the focus mode, and this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna wanna turn on the focus mode, and you can use it for this. And the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life happened. As soon as this scene is over. Look, a bottle. There's something inside. That's just wrong. What could it be? <gasps> Let's see here. <gasps> oh, money! Money, 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 money. So, every single person in that audience was a nice old lady. Every single person in that audience was a nice old lady. And they were all taking notes in little notepads on how to use their how to use their iPads. And it was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It was amazing. It was just adorable. Please don't be MP candy, please don't be MP candy. It was just so sweet, because I'm 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 not used to to, to people in the older generations wanting to like learn how like an iPad works, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So like having people like, they, they, you have to think about what happened. They had to see that the, the class was happening, sign up in advance, get, get dressed and ready for the day, get notepads and pens in a little, a little, a little purse and go on over to the Apple store. It's adorable. <gasps> Uncle Al, you're gonna look beautiful. Ooh, yeah, give me that. You look beautiful. 101 attack now. Or was that defense? Was that a, was that defense? 
He's so handsome. Isn't he though? Ain't he though? He's so handsome. You know what? Let's as as a as as a as a family. We're just we're just we're we're a family. Let's go out for a nice little stargazing trip as a as a family. Me and my uncle. Let's go gaze in the night sky. Actually, here. Perfection. A sh a shoot star! If they say you make a wish on one, it'll surely come true. What's your wish, Andrew? I want to be closer with Uncle Al. What's yours, Uncle Al? To be closer with Bonzi Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's something Uncle Al would say. That is totally something Uncle Al would say. <laughs> It's so funny. Let's go to the park together. And outing with Andy Roo. What fun! Oh. Hey there. I need to put on some clothes. I want to try running too. Let's work together. Ready, set, go! Hmm? Whoa! Oh, we are such- we are such good friends. We are- we are such good friends. I like how the last one, our- our friendship barely increased at all. Like, barely increased whatsoever. I like that. Mario Party 8 minigame be like. Alright, now we're good. Now, now we've had our we've had our dates. We've had our dates. We're good. Well, okay. Uncle Al and uh, and Hunter Ghost could could really do better. Let's just let's fix up that relationship right now. They might not like each other now, but when they go to the museum together, they're gonna love it. They're gonna absolutely adore it. Oh, oh, he's not happy. Oh, frick, he's not happy about it. Oh, look at that lighting. This museum is enormous. I've never seen so many exhibits. We gotta see them all. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, is this like concept art in a way? Look at that, look at that beautiful goblin. Is this the last one? Everything was so artistic. We saw enough art to last a lifetime. You know, Uncle Al is definitely an appreciator of the arts, for sure. Uncle Al is 100% an appreciator of the arts. He didn't get, notice how he didn't get bored? He didn't complain? He was like, oh, I love art. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I love to have a little bit of art in my life. I remember as a kid, I hated art galleries and stuff. I thought it was thought it was boring and stupid and dumb. I went to an art gallery recently. It was like a like an Oklahoma art thing for like a for like a discount day. It was really nice. It, it was it was a very nice experience. I'm hungry. Let's have some of my apples. You want the left apple or the right apple? <gasps> Crayola. <gasps> You took my only food! Now we're gonna starve! Our snacks? Contrarian beta is worse beta. Well, I'm glad you didn't have to know me during that time. Glad you didn't have to know me. Ooh, hobgob donuts, dude. Okay, okay. I'm feeding these all to the hunter ghost. You're gonna, oh, he's full. Uh, okay, then I'll feed it to you, Uncle Al. Ooh, get that. Ooh, get, uh, plus three attack. Ooh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm gonna give that to you. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting, like, food is good to do. I keep forgetting that that's, like, useful. I'm clearly not uh, performing at my topmost uh, ability at this game. <laughs> but... 
Hey, I'm I'm working on I'm doing it. I'm doing good. We're figuring it out. I forgot food. I forgot eating food was important. That's my bad. That is my bad. Now let's see if we can get not unlucky. Fingers crossed. Can we get a prediction? Will we see a UFO in this stage? Will we see a, 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 a UFO in this stage? We've already been that way, so we'll go the ways we haven't been. Will we see a UFO in this stage? Well, I, need to, I need to make sure it doesn't show up before the prediction's over. 10,000 on yes right now. 10,000 cheese nip points on yes. With 10,000 from Dismond. Holy crap. There's only 50 on no, 70 on no, 90 on no, 100 on no, 15,000, 200,000 on yes. Orion's has put 185,000 cheese nip points on yes. Okay, if we don't see a UFO, then uh, each person will receive uh, 717 times what they bet. I'm pretty sure it's impossible. I guess we're gonna find out. Orion said they're confident. We're gonna go the ways we haven't gone before. Bit out of breath. Okay, now, now actually. Okay, the first one's a nose. The first one's a little nosy. A clever running nose. Oh, it's, again, it's running. Get it? It's running. It's a running nose. Oh, see, look. Now that their quarrel's over, their friendship is, is growing. He's dead. Whoa. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try to kill them now. Oh, no. Don't be so laid back, bro. Okay, okay. Oh wait, oh wait, that's a good thing. No, it's a good thing. Okay, that's fine. Eat Kevin. Eat Kevin. If you die before you complete this stage, do we get a refund? I'm not gonna die, don't worry. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna die, oh my god. I'm gonna try not to waste my sprinkles right now just in case I get a UFO the next one. Look out, Uncle Al, please! Please look out! Ah! Holy crap, why are they so powerful? They're so powerful! I need the freaking horse to help me out here, Crayola! I'ma need you real bad, please! Excuse me?! You need to eat! You idiot! Uncle Al, you idiot! Uncle Al, you're our heavy hitter now, I think. I think. <laughs> okay. We will not back down! Hey, you okay there, partner? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm cool. Whatever. Yeah, no problem. No problem here. Okay. Come on, horsey. Yes! That, yes! Horse. I can't do the horse whispering, though. Oh, wait. I can eat a snack? Wait, no, but that's going to use... Okay, okay. Sprinkles. MP all the way up. We're going to use... We're going to use the most intense horse whispering attack. The, what does the horse whispering attack do again? That should like insta kill them all. Like insta kill one of them, right? At this point, right? Right? Meow. Oh, yes! I forgot. That is the reason why I like you. Okay, but, like, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't really think you're going to survive very often. 
Yes, a feast. Yes, a feast for the senses. A feast for the senses. Yes, instant reheal. Oh, I freaking love that. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna move you to safety because you're not really providing much. Yeah, be stubborn. Hurf. Yeah, dude. Okay, I can't sharpen claws anymore. Um, he's got so much health. He's got so much health. Okay, I'm gonna just increase my MP just a little bit, enough to like sharpen my claws a little bit in hopes that I can get the, the sharpen claw plus horse maneuver. That's what I'm hoping for. Sharpen claws plus horse is like the best option you can get. Ooh, 74. Oh, no, guys, come on. They're so, they're, they're so at odds. Kevin and Uncle Al have never been able to see eye to eye. Oh, no, he's sad. Come on, make up. Do something. Make up. Please. Gosh, at least it does 41 damage. That's pretty good. Mm, no horse. No horse, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna use we're gonna use the uh, the double scratch on him. Yes, that's 215 damage. Maybe I should have done a hyper actually. Maybe I should have done hyper. Actually, probably would have made sense. Okay, he's almost gone. We can do this. Just put your backs into it, team. Just put your backs into it, team. We're so close, we're so close. Come on, show off for me, Uncle Al. Show off for me, Uncle Al. That's almost 100 damage now. Uncle Al's turning big. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. Don't worry about him, don't worry about him. He'll be fine, he'll be fine, no problem at all. No problem at all, he'll be, he'll be totally fine. Yes, all right. We survived. <laughs> we survived. Woo. <laughs> That's a lot of XP, though. I'm getting a ton of XP from this. So uh, that's good. That's gr that's great, actually. That's more than just good. That that's fantastic. Oh, nice fragrant tea. Right. Woof. Okay. We've already gone down. Let's go up. Like it would have led us to the path from before. Please. Yes. Oh yes, that's good. That's really good. Al has glass bones and paper skin. <laughs> ah! and there's the UFOs. And there's the UFOs with the noses. That that's uh that's a yes, right? That's a yes, right? Evil UFO, yes. We got close though. We got really close, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we got close, I don't know. Is that how that works? All right, Uncle Al, you're going right into the safe zone. Immediately into the safe zone. And we're going to, uh, we're gonna figure this one out. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna figure this one out real quick. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, I was hoping run away would mean that just like I could run away from the one battle, but uh, it looks like I have to Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm only sad about Kevin, not any of the other ones. Only sad about Kevin. I have no more lives. Um. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. No, we don't quite know what to do, guys. I know he can survive at least, so that's that's nice. But I don't know if he can bring others back to life, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if he has that ability to bring others back to life. Gonna go there and you get right back over there and we're just gonna sprinkle you up the rest of the way He's a vampire not a necromancer. Oh, please stop sneezing Gonna 
shield you again. And I might as well shield you too. And uh, you're not gonna really help anyone with any healing, so I might as well do that. Hunter Ghost is so sad right now. Dude, I keep going for that one nose, so that works out great. <gasps> yes, yes. Well, soon. Come on, Andrew. I believe in you, even though my healer is dead two seconds into the match. I believe. I, 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 I can. I can do it. For sure. I can. Come on, just one of them. Kill one of them. One of them. One of them. Just one. Just one. That's all you gotta do. Just just one. Okay, I can't die. I can't die. Is there any way not to get any of the, uh... Any of the, uh... You know... UFOs? Is that... Is, is it really impossible? Are you sure? Oh, come on, just die! Just die! Oh my gosh, 141 damage. There's no way. There's no freaking way. There's no freaking way. There, and there it is. Holy crap, I can't do this. I can't do this battle yet. There's no way. Unless, you know, unless I choose a different party that doesn't have freaking a hunter ghost in it. You know what? We gotta say goodbye to the hunter ghost. I'm gonna have to bring up the best player on my team. That's right. I'm gonna have to bring out Tails. Miles Prower, one of the best mages this side of the Caribbean. I know, 100 Ghosts would be such a good fight me, you giant ball of cheese. You know, in case you didn't know, canonically, Miku is allergic to cheddar. Canonically. Tails has the ability to fire, flame, and destroy anyone who comes in their way. Miku's good too, though. <gasps> Time for a nice brushing. <laughs> Sonic's also good though, because Sonic can like dodge too. I think I need to just scrap my whole team. I want them to work so bad. I want them to work so bad. But I might, I might need to, to face facts here that, uh, you know, might not be the best. They might not be the best. You gotta do what you gotta do. Santy. Santy Claus. Oh, I, he just looks so good in purple. Add a warrior. I actually don't think, yeah, I don't think I've ever had a warrior in the game. I don't think I've ever had one. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do Andrew. Can I not be in? Oh, I can just not play. I can just, and I can just choose not to have the horse? Why? Sorry, Hunter Ghost. Sorry, Uncle Al. Sorry, Kevin. We're gonna do, oh, but Carl's also a mage, right? So Miku, Sonic. What do you think? Should I do Tails or should I do Carl? I guess Carl would be better. Carl's a cleric. Carl's a cleric. So, it would be better for me to do tails then, right? Leave yourself out. It's... <laughs> I'm sorry, me. You know what? Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I'm the problem. Let's just... Let's let them go. Maybe I'm the problem. You ever think about that? If we win... It... And it's my fault. <laughs> it's my fault. Why are they riding the horse together? I should- I should never have let Carl go in my stead. I should never have let Carl go in my stead. You're now playing as Miku. Am I Miku? Am I technically Miku? Do I get to- do I get to control anyone? Oh wow, and they're already- they're already doing better than we ever did before. Already doing amazing. She loves everybody but you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See, this is why we needed Tails this whole time. This is why we needed Tails. Okay. 
Okay, so I can't control Miku. So, uh... Oh, that would have been great. Righteous Anger can insta-kill. Righteous Anger can insta-kill. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we've got our first problem now. We've got our first problem. Healing self. Dude, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? The dual riding horse thing is likely from your class, not relationship. Oh, no, thank you. Of course it wouldn't be. Of course, because Miku and I are the best friends. Yes, come on. Dang it. Dang it. I was hoping to distract him. Dude, I'm telling you, I was the problem this whole time. They're doing great. They're doing great. Holy crap, they're doing over 100 damage per turn. Everybody loves me. Man, I wish I was there. And they're able to, like, dodge everything because they have such high... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I can't... I'm not even playing. And they're doing amazing. I haven't used a single sprinkle or put anyone in the, in the, in the zone. And they keep taking- Stop taking Sonic's bananas! And now- And now they're- And now they're best friends. And now they're- This is sad. <laughs> oh, they're very close now. That's cool. That's- That's great. Oh, they're very close now. Holy crap. Mega Fire plus two. That's 200 damage. That's two- That's 200 damage. Honestly, I feel like Miku might not necessarily be needed. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. She she has the ability to distract them, which uh, is great. But um, they have almost full health, guys. <laughs> they have almost full health. Um, I guess, I guess since they're kind of safe right now, I'm gonna put him in there so that way he can get MP without using sprinkles. Come on, come on! Yeah, there we go. She distracted both of them. That's what she's best for. That's what she's best for. Yep, and now now he's got plenty of chance to reheal. Miku isn't popular now? Oh, okay, there we go. Now Miku's popular. Okay, okay. Miku! Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Wow, they're both fighting for Miku. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna gonna take I'm gonna take him uh yep, yeah, and then he's gonna just inst oh. How much more they got? Okay, 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 okay. Things are getting a little tough now. Things are getting a little tough now. Things are getting a little tough. Oh, and because of that, he just got insta rehealed. He just got insta rehealed. Holy crap. What great odds. For Miku. For Miku. Gonna reheal you, gonna get you, and uh, you're kinda gonna die. I'm gonna put. Yes! Good revive, good revive. Okay, I'm going to take you, put you in. Sonic's gonna die. Sonic's gonna die. Holy crap. So I'm, not, I'm just kind of in my own world right now. I'm kind of just in my own world. I've been playing this game completely wrong this entire time. I've been playing this game completely wrong this entire time. No, Miku, no! Oh, okay. He's dead now. He's dead now. You put him to sleep and now he's dead. Okay, things aren't going so hot. Things aren't going quite so hot. But that's okay. No, 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 what are you doing? Don't lose Carl! Holy crap! It's to reheal! This is why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? Why is why is this game really, really intense? Post game. But I was just doing the Dr. Kawashima mission! I'm just doing Dr. Kawashima, hanging out and having a good time. Just hanging out and having a good old-fashioned time. 
I was just hanging out, having a good old fashioned time. I wasn't doing anything weird. And he's dead in one hit. Oh gosh. It, it, Miku, please reheal. Please revive. Okay, so everyone's dead. Except for Carl. So we're gonna give you a nice shield and let you take the time you need to revive some people. I'm gonna give you full MP. Full MP. There we go. How's the enemy looking? I, f I feel like we've been here for 700 years. I feel like we've been here for 7,000 years. Please revive. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking scream. There's no way. There's, uh, but uh, this is the first battle. This is the first battle. Thank you. Thank you, Miku. Thank you, Miku. I'm just here for the one experience points, and then I'm gonna have to run. There's no way. I can't make it to the end. This, I know, the game, what happened? The game gets so intense. I seriously thought, I seriously thought that I was like, oh, I figured out the catalog. This game's gonna be so much easier now. I had no idea. <gasps> Miku just sent one of them home. <laughs> she just sent one of them home. She can just do that? She can just, she can just do that. She can literally just do that. <laughs> she can just send them right home. Miku is just nice to him. It's a freaking, it's a freaking anime thing again, isn't it? Where it's just like, it's just like, hey, um, maybe, maybe don't be so mean. And it's like, oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be so mean. And then he's not. And then he like leaves. Okay, so here's the deal. I think that Miku might not have been the best choice. I think Miku might have been, have been the wrong choice. Obviously, she can tell someone to go home, which is really useful, but she just doesn't have the, uh, the, the, the attack, and neither does Sonic. Sonic also doesn't have the attack. Are there all out attacks? Man, I wish this persona. I do. Boy, do I. Okay, good. Full reheal. Full reheal, which, uh, kind of is worthless because I just rehealed you, so that's kind of, that kind of sucks. Tails have got some good attacks, though. Whatever happened to Sonic? Yeah, he fell off. Sonic really fell off. Thank you! Oh, gosh. Thank you. The horse has been helping. Full reheal. This is just the first battle. This is just the first battle! Okay, go Carl, go Carl. Thank you, thank you. That's nice. You're saying Miku is wasting potential. She does have the ability to literally tell the, tell the enemy to go home. Why she's not using that, I don't know. How come there's not a Miitopia playlist on the archive channel? I, I haven't really like done a lot of those. I only do it for like the ones that I'm like, oh dang, people would definitely want to watch all of it. Which is probably me, Tokyo. Which I probably do need to do. How much more we got? How much more we got? All right, we're only got around a fourth of the way there. Only about a fourth of the way there, folks. Or I guess a fourth left. Sonic was the wrong choice, for sure. Miku might have also been the wrong choice. This is what I'm learning. This is what I'm learning. Do you guys use the playlist on the archive channel? Do you like actually use them? Are they useful? Yes! 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 Oh, I hope that worked. I was really hoping that would work. I was really hoping that would work. Literally, Carl has the ability to just like one hit kill if he's able to do it. And he... I've used the AI Dungeons playlist many times. I need to do that then. Pincher 2. He's got Pincher 2 now. That's better than Pincher 1. That's two of them. 
Do it! Do it! Do your dang picture! Oh wow, they're all helping because they love her. Come on. Come on. This is taking. I don't actually know if this is taking longer than when it was me. I feel like I helped in some way. I just feel like I helped in some way. I'd like to imagine I helped in some way. Yes, Miku! Yes! Yes! I think I, I think I strained my shoulder from that from that intense yesing. Okay. Uh, Tails, you're definitely going up. You need that HP. You need that HP boost, my dog. Or my fox. Okay. So, here's the hope. The hope is that I get lucky. The hope is that I get lucky. And there's no more battles from now on. Because if there is, I have to leave. <gasps> A game ticket. Not happen. That ain't happen. Ain't no friggin' way. There ain't no friggin' way. Well, look at. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how. Uh... Oh, look at that. Now my HP candies. I'm grinding. This is what's known as the beta grind. I'm grinding. Look, look. It gives me 15 more MP now. That's that's really useful. That's really useful. And if I can spend some cash on a little bit of that. Mm, Kevin, okay. Kevin does like a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. I feel like Kevin might be one of my best bets to keep on the team. What do you what do you think about my about team comp and me, Kevin, Tails, and Carl? What do you think? About oh that's so cool looking. Look how how look how swanky he looks. Isn't that the word? Swanky? Swanky? Cause then I would have two healers. <laughs> then I'd have two healers. Yes, that's good too. That's good too. A platinum Moai dagger. Bye bye. Do do do. -do. Bye bye. He does a lot of damage too. I don't know why he has 120 damage, but he's not really like doing much. You know what I mean? He's only hitting like at 30 versus like a hundred. You know what I mean? You know what I you, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? He's a thief. Yeah, that would explain it. <laughs> that would ex that would explain it. So I'm thinking I'm thinking me, Carl, Tails, and Kevin. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. It's just because the post-game enemies have high defense. Okay. This is what I'm feeling. Okay. This is gonna be, this is gonna be it. I guarantee you, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be, this, this is gonna be it. <sighs> okay. I, there's nothing else I can do, right? I think, I think this is it. This is all, this is all I can do. I feel like going the up path gave me the noses, which were a little bit easier than the UFOs. So I feel like I should go up if it's not completely random. Actually, no idea. Is this even, is this random? Is this randomized? I guess we'll find out. Okay, it's the noses. I mean, I have good feelings about the noses. Okay, they've now instantly killed uh, Carl Weezer. All right, full reheal, full reheal. Let's go. Literally, the, the, the like friendship thing is such a big like, when that happens, it's like the whole world is now my oyster. It's literally my oyster. And I will... You suck an oyster, right? You don't, like, eat an oyster. Dang, Carl, I wish you could get that. I wish you could get that, like, once. Yeah, you do? Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. It's only 49 damage, though? Golly! No, don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. No! Carl! All right. Gonna reuse our life one already. Give him a nice shield. And uh hyper. Okay, okay, good scratch. Come on, horsey. Ah, oh, no horsey. Oh, oh wait, you can't use a horsey. 
Okay, that's 385 damage. 385 damage. That's really good. I'm not sure you can even beat this part of the game. There's probably way more parts of the game that's easier. Well, that's the problem. I've gotten into the point that I now just really, really want to win. You know what I mean? Like, I just really, really want to win. I don't care. I don't care. You can die. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You can die. Carl will just bring us back. Right, Carl? Right, Carl? Right. You'll just bring us back. Just bring us back. Baby, you need to grind. Well, I'm getting XP at least. I am at least getting XP. And that just killed me again. Alright, you're probably right. <laughs> I, I thought you beat this game two years ago. Alright. Well, we got at least 50 levels. Let's go to the freaking town center. See if there's nothing a little bit easier we can do. You know how I said in the stream title that uh that we would be making serious progress? <laughs> Remember when I said that? Man, I'm such a liar. I honestly need to put the exact opposite of what I s want to say in the title. You know what I mean? Guy Fieri? Like, oh, guys, we're not gonna make any progress. We're not gonna make- There's gonna be absolutely no progress this week. And then it'll just be like, I finished the entire game three times in a row. Let's, uh... Let's head on over to my good old friend. My good old friend, the town square. Then you'd probably just be accurate. You don't think I jinxed myself? Don't you believe in jinxing? Don't you believe I, I jinxed myself? Hey, Peter. Hey, Monita. <gasps> you! <laughs> DDD! Oh, the Aaron's ones are fast and easy. Oh, where did his face go? What does DDD sound like? <laughs> Is that what he sounds like? I have no idea what King DDD sounds like. Dude, the four kids up. Now she here! No, wait, that's, that's not what. What does the four kids sound like? Is that Holly Mistletoe? Is that Holly Mistletoe? That's Holly Mistletoe! Hi, I'm Holly, and I love sports! I just look, look at these amazing muscles! It's what happens when you work on a farm! I was trading over in the air and frontier. Looks like a lot of those monsters have been moving there lately. Will you go and take care of them for me? I'll give you a hand that I cut off a poor innocent man. I will help you, but first off, I gotta run an errand. Your worst burger. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. Good to have you here. I gotta go. I gotta go deliver to the yellow Pikmin his his package. It's Holly. Holly. Mistletoe! Holly's the best. Actually, okay. I'm going to do a poll now. A poll now. What stream do you want to see on Friday? 3D Movie Maker. And whatever the crap else I had written down. 3D Movie Maker. Uh, don't, don't come to your decision yet. No, don't, don't, don't come to your decision yet. Uh, just one second. Uh, hold on a second. I gotta scroll up real far. 3D Movie Maker, Uncle Al, trucking, because Uncle Al's been telling me he wants to get back in the deal, wants to get back in the thing. <laughs> or Pikmin 4 again. I, I don't I don't know what else. I don't I, I actually only had two ideas. I actually only had two ideas. So uh, if you if you have more than that. Well. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. We are doing Pikmin 4 tomorrow, by the way. We are doing that. I'm the courteous as ever. Perfect perfection. <gasps> hey, uh, <laughs> I have a delivery from King DDD. <gasps> Ooh, a liar. Like me. <laughs> like me. A highly delighted yellow Pikmin. There's some big ears. That works out perfectly. You better get them Don Dory skills. I'm gonna get Don Dorried. I'm gonna Don Dory the crap out of tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be so much Don Dorying 
You won't even- you won't even know it hit you. You won't even know it freaking hit you. Who the heck is Don Dork? Don... Don Dory. Don... Dory. Don Dory. I know- I, I keep doing like Don. This was like Don... Da... A... A... I... U... E... O... Don Dory. Don Dory. Don Dory. Is that how I was supposed to say? That's how I was supposed to say. What? You liked it? Well, I can't believe it. Well, I'm good. I'm not good or what? Now, you know, Pikmin will be out of free bread for sure. And all thanks to you and my mouth phasing in and out of existence. Yeah, I'm gonna give that iceberg salad to, like... Who do I give it to? You're, you're so cute. But I gotta help. Tough? It says tough. Oh, no. Tough? <laughs> But it gives you the hand. It may be difficult. The game doesn't want me to do this. Also, 3D Movie Maker 1. We're going to do 3D Movie Maker. But it, it's Holly Mistletoe, right? I got to help Holly Mistletoe. Right? I have to help Holly Mistletoe. I owe you one. Do whatever you want. The game specifically said, Hey bro, maybe don't do this. And the only reason I'm here is because I was like, Oh man, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe I'll like do an easier mission. But no, God forbid, no. Maybe I'll get some something good. I'm going to go out my ass. It's me. It's hard to pick a favorite. Hello again. Any amiibo? Can I see it? Amiibo! Thank you so much. Amiibos are great. Please. Okay. That's actually really cool. Hold on. Who can wear that? Can I wear that? Who can wear that? Wait, hold on a second. Who, who can wear that? Who can wear the cool Zelda thing? Uh, anyone but tanks, I think. Is it gonna, like, give me, like, stuff? Or is it close appearance? <laughs> okay, so it's not, like, an actual, like, clothing thing that gives you, like, stuff. It's just like, like a little extra thing. That's cute though. That is, that is cute though. That is very cute. Well, now I gotta figure out what other amiibos do. I gotta figure out what the, all the other amiibos do. I didn't even think this would work because this was on the... No, wait. <laughs> I was like, this game came out on 3DS. Why would they know about this amiibo? Because they updated it. I forgot about that. I love the duality of man. You made the cleric Carl Weezer. I made mine the literally death. I don't know what that I don't I did I didn't click anything. I didn't click anything. I didn't click a single dang thing. I don't know what happened. <laughs> now I'm scared. Well, I'm sure this battle will be very simple. Maybe, maybe I'll just I'll just go a little over time. I'll just go just a little over time. I wanna make some dang progress! In video game. I want to make some dang video game dang progress. Dang it. Oh, that looks very simple and easy to beat. That looks like it's going to be a very simple and easy thing. Do it. Oh, I want that to work so bad. I want that to work so bad. Now, I'm going to admit to you right now, they didn't insta-kill me in one hit. So, uh... This seems to already be slightly easier. Holy crap, what in the world? They just keep attacking. Oh, it's because they have three heads. Oh, that was cute. That was actually really cute. He was like, oh no, Andrew's sad. So he, he gave, a, gave me a little neigh, just a little neigh to help me on the way. Okay, so I guess they get six attacks a turn. So that's cool. That's nice. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, I was too late. I was too late to click the button. I was too late to click the button. 
That's fine. Okay, Carl, you're gonna get that. We're all getting shields. We're all getting shields for Christmas. We're all getting shields for Christmas. All right, he's dead too. Holy crap. Why do you get so many attacks? Why did you get so many attacks? I was like, oh, they're so easy. It's so simple. No problem. It's just, it's just a three-headed monster. Death. Instant death. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. I licked myself. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Double scratch. Okay, you're almost dead. Yes! Okay, with one down, that literally removes three attacks. You, you, you can't freaking heal anybody, can you? Can you? Okay. I'm gonna be very careful here. I'm gonna be very careful here. I will say, this makes it so much easier. So much easier now. Yes, there we go. And... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just one more hit. One more hit. It's just one more hit. There we go. There we go. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. That wasn't so bad. Still in one piece. Good manga. Uh, we're gonna give it to you. You get it, Kevin. That went better than I was anticipating. I think it went fantastic. I think it went fantastic. Look, we're already at the crossroads. We go down and there'll be not a single enemy. Dig a hole? That's kind of mean. <gasps> the mood is tense. No, 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 we're best friends. Be careful. No, you be careful. Ugh. They were so mad at each other for being careful. Oh, gosh, dang it. I think this game hates me today. <laughs> I think this game, I mean, granted, I'm trying to push it to the limits of what should be possible in gaming. So, uh, let it be known that maybe it could be my fault. We're, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say perhaps, maybe, it's my fault that I'm losing so much. Maybe. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll see. We'll see. Kevin didn't get a single sprinkle. Who are you? Who are you guys? First fight, trouble. Watch it! And hey, no way! I, he hit me. Oh, we killed one though. Hey, okay, that's worth it. I'll take that, I'll take that. We killed someone. Don't make him afraid, don't do it. No, it's not, no, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah, we've got nerves of steel. Yeah, team tail? That wasn't my team. Yeah, we've got nerves of steel. We're not scared of anything. This is my team. This is my team. Okay. Gonna move you back, because you're afraid. So my thought is this. They're not actually that bad. That's my thought here. My thought here is these enemies aren't actually that bad. We'll see. We'll see. Nice one. Yes, please, please! Yes! 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 Oh my gosh! That was incredible! Carl, I knew I kept you in the party for a reason. I knew I kept you in the party for a reason. Yeah, we're not gonna use Hyper yet. Yeah, yeah, hit him, hit him. Thank you, Crayola. Yes. I'm glad I didn't do hyper. So I could do this one. 
I'm in a good mood and full of energy. 400 damage. Okay. Dude, we are killing. Nerves of steel, nerves of steel, nerves of steel. No oh, well, close, close. I don't know what fear does though. I actually don't know what fear does. I figured out what fear does. Aw, don't, no, I'll just pet you. Wow, thanks for completely removing my turn. <laughs> Freaking whacked me. Dude, this guy doesn't even do that much damage. We got this. Enlarge weapon? Holy crap. Oh, well, 50 is, 50 is okay. We've literally, that was, that was so easy. That was so awesome. That was sick. That was amazing. I thought that was gonna be so much harder. I mean, well, it's because we're so good. It's because I'm, I, I'm that, I'm just that good. I mean, yeah, I mean, let's not, let's not, let's not take away from the fact that I'm, I'm just that good. At, the, at this video game that I, I'm playing where half of the characters don't even listen to what I say. Yes. We did something! Yay! We did something! Officially cool. I am now officially cool. Thanks, Miku. <clears throat> Alright. Now that we've made a tiny bit of progress, it's time for me to end the stream. And I'll tell you why. I was actually considering going more, but my throat is now going away. <laughs> I've now, I've hit the point of no return. <clears throat> and I want to be able to don Dory tomorrow. I want to be able to don Dory. I'm fine. It's just, it's just, it's just, <clears throat> I just need to take a little breather in my voice. So here's the deal. Um, didn't make as much progress. But, think about the positives here. I don't know what it is, but think about the positives. About uh, how I've leveled up everyone like seven times. I leveled up everyone like seven times. Um, I bought lots of new clothes. We got a ton of money out of it. Um, uh, and uh, Zelda, we got the Zelda outfit. You beat one area. That's right. Yeah, when you got it, you got it. I'll just tell you that much. When you got it, you got it. So, valuable lesson Andrew has learned this evening. I now understand how post-game works. And it's better off uh, probably using your, your your talents to do traveler's missions to, uh, to level up first. And get special items. This is what I have learned. The progress you made was in your brain. Not the game, but in a good way. I thought you meant it in a bad way. I thought you meant it in a way of like, Andrew, you didn't make any single progress today. It's all in your mind. But no, what you're saying is, I might not have grown my characters that much, but I've grown myself. Me! Ow. And that is what's most important. Now, before... Actually, no, not before we look at Smith for sure. Let's look at Smith for stream. And then I have a little surprise. Just a, just a tiny surprise for you. Maybe it's not, maybe, maybe it's not that much. Uh, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be a good end of stream surprise for people who stayed till, till the very end. <laughs> Cause it's kind of weird. And only for the true, the true fans. Only for the true fans. First, we have Scott, no last name. The Adventures of Bob. Okay. Do you want to see Bob's face? Like, like, do you want, do you want to see Bob's face? Let me show you Bob's face. Hey guys. This is a certified Dairy Queen classic. I'm going to be playing Pikmin 4 tonight. With Dairy Queen lips. The X is the jump button. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now, where's the X button on the controller, son? Son, what? are you here? Where is the X button? Shut I see, up. I see A, I see A, B, where is X? Shut up. Don't you sass me, Shut don't you up. sass me. Get over here, tell it. This is embarrassing. Isn't this so embarrassing? I'm sorry, my son, 
He he's in a rebellious phase. He's not. He doesn't want to help me with my games. <laughs> I like the thought of the, my son's in a rebellious phase. Just hear the screams of Cthulhu. So oh, embarrassing. I'm sorry, my son. He he's in a rebellious phase. He's not. He doesn't want to. <laughs> world is that this makes bob look chill bob's a chill guy he's a chill guy thank you scott beautifully done beautifully done this is from anthony buso me with my little pikmin baja blast hot sauce mount ba i thought it said mount beta Hey, Olimar, it's been a while. Why are you in my house? And then I just go. You don't know about the Baja Blast. I certainly do not know about the Baja Blast sauce. I certainly do not. Now, here's the deal. That's all I have for submit for stream tonight. But... I want to show you something, a little surprise that has absolutely nothing to do with the stream whatsoever. I was sent an email by a company and they said, hey, Andrew, do you want a press kit, a physical press kit for this game we're making sent to your box? It comes filled with oil. And I had to say yes. So I was sent a box that I've been told is filled with oil for this game called WrestleQuest. I have no idea anything about wrestling or WrestleQuest, but I will open it right now because why the frick not? It's a little prize for everyone staying till the end of the stream. So, was this the one advertising with actual wrestlers last packs? I don't know. They sent me the Steam code. It said it comes out on the 26th, but I haven't even redeemed it. I just wanted to. I just wanted to see see the oil. So let's let's take a look. See what's in our what's in our little little quest box. Okay. Well, first on our tour, first on our tour, we have a block of wood. That says WQ. I don't know what that stands for. I don't know what that stands for. But if I had to make a guess, it stands for wood quality. Wa quality wood. Mm. Oh, it tastes like wood. That actually does. Oh! Oh, look, they sent me a little note. It says, thank you for being a part of this journey with us. I have not been a part of this journey. I don't. I still don't know the game. It's called WrestleQuest. The game of this size and a team this small, it felt like we've moved mountains to get here. Wouldn't be possible without people like you. I hope you enjoyed this treat yourself box. They even misspelled box and corrected. This is like a handwritten note. This is like a handwritten note. Light that candle, put on them shades, oil yourself up, and enjoy your time with WrestleQuest from Mega Cat. I must find the oil. Okay, so these are the shades. These are the shades. These are the shades. Let's take a look-see. Perfect music. And they fit over my glasses. Oh, shoot. Oh, I actually look kind of cool. I actually look kind of freaking cool. It is a little bit hard because they are a little bit... It would be better if I didn't have glasses because my nose is, is barely touching. <laughs> Do I look cool? Do I look cool? Okay. Next on our tour, we have real matches. <laughs> oh, they're called wrestling matches. You can create real fire. Or not. <gasps> oh, 
Very cool. Put that on my wooden plank. <laughs> All right. All right. Next on our tour, we have a WrestleQuest water bottle, or maybe it's an oil bottle. <laughs> 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 Chemicals. It's been freshly brewed. Freshly brewed. Oh, and I can smell the smoke from the from the match too. Oh man, I don't know what kind of chemicals I'm creating. It just it just it smells manufactured. You know what I mean? It's like they, they got it off the factory assembly line and sent it right to me. Alright. Next on our tour, we have Cinnamon. Power bomb. It's the candle. Holy crap! It's like it's like someone took thirty cinnabons and shoved it in a bowl. Whoa! 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 I wish you could see my eyes. Whoa! That is intense. Just like WrestleQuest is one intense game. You you guys pre-order Wrestle? Don't forget to. Hey mods, why don't you grab the WrestleQuest Steam page and put that? Don't forget to wish list, all right? Oh, now we can't forget our WrestleQuest whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Will you stream WrestleQuest? I might have to in our variety game night. It's a uh I don't what is this? What what is this? What is this a tie? Is this a what is this? It's not a belt. It doesn't like fit around my waist. What is this? It doesn't fit around my head. Oh, maybe it's an armband. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Probably a, a WrestleQuest armband. That makes sense. Eh, can't get quite get it on though. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you got two of them. One for each arm. Andrew, the game is an RPG. Tell me, can someone explain WrestleQuest to me? Because I don't know what the game is. It doesn't... No, look, guys, I'm muscular, see? It, it barely fits me. I'm looking great. I'm looking great. I've got a match. I've got wood. i got a nice cinnamon candle. It's a tag team wrestling RPG. The moment we've all been waiting for. From our WrestleQuest box. The Sweaty Betty Moil Oil Sheen. Muscle Sheen. All natural baby oil. It makes your muscles shine and your pecs pop. And 35 experience points boost. Alright. Doesn't have a smell. I think it's just oil. What am I supposed to? What am I supposed to do with it? It's, just, it's oil. <laughs> it's just oil. If I get this on anything, it's never going to come off anything ever again. But look at it. It's actually kind of cool if you like look at it like really close. If you look at it like super close, it actually looks kind of cool. Hold on. Let me let me let me show you. So like, look at it. Like, really, really close. You can see like the bubbles floating in it. It's kind of nice. Is that nice with like the little bubbles floating off to it? How do I get? Hey guys, it's me, Andrew from Beta Sixty Four. Just want to say thanks for watching my screen to my stream everybody i hope you all have a fantastic a fantastic rest of your night and i will see you on uh tomorrow at 7 30 p.m central time and don't forget to to, to wish list wrestle quest on steam wrestle quest how exciting <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
you look goofy as heck. Wrestle Quest, baby. Yeah. Wrestle Quest, baby! Wrestle Quest! I'm a wrestle man now. That's right. That's my new thing. That's my new thing I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. Well, thank you, Mega Cat, for the, for the, for the thing. Wishlist now, baby. I feel so bad. Like, not one single person wishlisted after they were so nice to send this. Where's the wrestle quest command? You know what? I'm going to wishlist it. I'll wishlist it. Y'all don't have to wishlist it. I'll wishlist it. That way, there's at least one. <laughs> there's at least one. Have a good night, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow with Pikmin 4. You, we got a wrestle quester. We got a wish lister. Heck yeah! The beta crew is 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 just that cool. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll see you all tomorrow if you're a wrestle quester. Hope you hope to see you, my wrestle questies. Chew. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't check for any raids. I. I forgot to do that. I was too busy drinking the oil. <clears throat> I was too busy drinking the oil. Hold on. I. I. I was. I was not ready to go. <clears throat> What if I'm a pick minner? Well, if you're a pick minner, then then that's fine. Then I'll th it's fine. I'll allow you to come to Shmar Street. If you're a pick minner or a wrestle quester, then uh, then you're allowed to to come on stream. Now, I will see you all later. We'll raid none other than our friend. Uh, we'll raid our friend Sticks. Why not? That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. I'll see y'all tomorrow.